Hey guys, so I'm about to go grocery shopping and I have some great tips for you if you want to lose weight or stay fit, healthy, lean on how to shop for groceries, how to shop for food and what to buy in the grocery store and uh, what to think about. Tip number one, always take a list with you and tip number two, do not ever go grocery shopping when you're hungry. Number three, get a basket because it's gonna keep you moving and you're not gonna put unnecessary items into your basket. <laughs> Tip number four, shop the perimeter of the store where you can find all of the fresh produce like fruits and veggies and fresh meat. Um, don't go in the middle too much because there's always the processed food and all that junk food that you don't wanna have at your home. You just wanna avoid that. So, let's go for some fruit. Also, look for fruit and veggies that are in season because first of all, it's going to be cheaper and it's just healthier for you to eat fruit and veggies that are in season. I have great recipes for peach salads on my website, so check it out. They're really delicious and peaches are in season right now. When it comes to buying organic produce, I'm all for it, but it's um, it's kind of expensive. Not everyone can afford it all the time. So I suggest that you stick to buying organic things that you eat the skin of. So if you eat tomatoes, you know, you're not gonna peel them, so buy organic. If you buy oranges that has the thick skin, you can peel them off. So it's not always necessary to buy organic oranges. So just like pick the products that makes sense to buy organic if you're trying to save money. If you're trying to lose weight and if you really want to make a difference and try to avoid even the healthy snacks or seemingly healthy snacks in this type of aisles, stick with fresh fruit and veggies and uh, stick with whole foods where there's always some preparation needed because if you do that, you know, you're going to avoid binging and overeating and it's just overall you're gonna be eating nutritious food, low in calories. So even if you see something that is like low fat or low in calories, but it's processed food, it's really better to avoid that if you wanna make a huge difference. And I have last two tips for you guys. Make grocery shopping your priority and go at least twice a week. I go every day, but I know that not everyone has the time. For me, it's a way out of my house to kind of get um, to see people and stuff like that because I work from home um, and I love grocery shopping. But if you can do it, if you can make it twice a week, that way you will uh, make sure that you have all the fresh foods at home all the time and you're eating like super foods that are nutrient dense and low in calories and you will see how much progress you're going to be making in terms of your diet and healthy eating. And uh, one more thing is that I go to buy my meat uh, into places that I really trust, like farmer's market, where I know that I get fresh meat and meat that is free of antibiotics and GMOs and things like that. Or if I can't make it to the farmer's market, I go to Whole Foods because I know that Whole Foods really focuses on having a high quality meat in their stores. So um, it costs a little bit more money, but it's money well spent and it's well way worth it, you know. So um, try to think about that. Let me know what you think. And that's it for today. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss um, any workouts that I post on Fridays and other fitness tips and diet tips and I will see you guys soon. Ciao!